Uh, you know, for many decades now that the county of San Diego has been governed by a very conservative board of supervisors because that's what the voters elected. And those supervisors governed consistent with their values. Well, the voters have now elected a new group of supervisors, a progressive majority on the board of supervisors, and we're going to govern consistent with our values just the same. Uh, times change, and so when times change, it requires our policies to change. When you look through our, our legislative program, and these are things that we support and oppose and where we direct as we go out to seek federal funding, state funding, work with other local agencies, this governing document really sets the direction and tone uh, of what we do. And when you read through more than 100 pages uh, of our current legislative program, you see something that I don't believe aligns with the approach that is best for San Diego County. Uh, it not only does not support immigrants, uh, it encourages policies that, that I think are wrong. Uh, things in our legislative plan encourage policies uh, to add additional authority to federal border patrol agents to detain San Diego drivers. That is inconsistent with the California Values Act. It's also inconsistent with what we know makes us a safer community. Sanctuary communities and counties, those where local law enforcement only focus on protecting and serving locals, not becoming extensions of federal border patrol, those communities are statistically safer because you want trust between law enforcement and the communities they police. The federal government can do their own job in their own way. It also uh, takes action in the current plan to suppress people's ability to vote adding barriers to registration and voting that are currently not in place, echoing the hallmarks of the nonsense you see playing out at the federal level and nationally today. There's guidance in there that denies uh, help and services to anyone who has a criminal record. If you commit an offense, you pay your debt to society, you're held accountable. And when you have paid your debt, we believe in restorative justice, we believe in rehabilitation, we believe in helping you get back on your feet in breaking that cycle of poverty and addiction and incarceration. And we want to go in a new direction and so many more policies. And so in order to align uh, our agenda and our purpose and our legislative plan uh, with our values, we're just going to hit the delete button on all 117 pages and we're going to start fresh. The new policy will abolish the old legislative program and write a new one based on guidelines and priorities that align with our framework for the future. You can see here the overarching principles, and I want to talk briefly about these. The first one you see here is partnering collaboratively with the state. For the last few decades, the county of San Diego has, has been antagonistic and at odds with the state of California. I believe our governor and our legislature are doing a good job in difficult conditions for sure, but are doing a good job, and we want to be their partner and we want to be their ally. We want to go to Sacramento and work to secure funding and pilot programs and changes we think that will benefit the lives of the people of San Diego County. When I was a candidate for the Board of Supervisors, knowing that I had been a former legislator, people would say, well, he's a Sacramento insider. Well, they were right. I have a lot of friends up there, and that has been to the benefit of the people of San Diego. We have drawn down tens of millions of dollars in funding to clean up our air and improve environmental justice issues funding that would help our immigrants and our asylum seekers. And there is so much more we can do when, as a board, we take that same approach. We also want to work collaboratively with the 18 incorporated cities. With our incorporated cities, we are tied by geography, but we are united in purpose. We want to serve the public. For far too long, in particular, the County of San Diego and the City of San Diego have had a contentious relationship. We have a new mayor, and Mayor Todd Gloria, who is my friend, I support what he's doing. We are going to work together uh, to achieve our common goals and our shared missions. We need to work collaboratively on issues of binational concern with the city of Tijuana, the state of Baja, and the country of Mexico. Although we may have a border that separates us, there is so much more that unites us, and we are one region. We want to work collaboratively with our sovereign tribal nations. There's a lot of things in this document that are I believe hostile and antagonistic towards uh, our tribal friends. We are going to change our attitude and, and, and approach, and we're going to protect fiscal integrity. We're going to ensure equity in all of the policies we're doing, community-based approaches to public safety, government transparency, and access to information. But we are going to move in a new direction. Those are the overarching principles. So what are the priorities where we want to see our priority focus uh, around drawing down resources and, and, and really advancing an agenda? COVID-19, of course, the response we're in right now and the recovery that we all look forward to. 
behavioral health services, the intersection of mental health and drug treatment, affordable housing, environmental justice and protection, equity and racial justice, public health infrastructure, data infrastructure, habitat conservation and climate adaptation, transit and low carbon transportation options uh, are the priorities that we are going to start with to say this is the direction we want to go and these are the things we want to work on. Taking this approach will ensure that we have a clear, consistent and progressive direction for our county and drive how we advocate in Sacramento and at the federal government with the incoming Biden administration, how we interact with our local cities, with our tribal partners, uh, and with our partners south of the border. And I believe this is vital to the future of our county. Uh, the board will vote on Tuesday, January 12th. Uh, if you agree with this approach, uh, we want to uh, hear from you. Uh, please send in an e-comment. We'll post in the comment section how you access that information and, and how you can make your voice heard. Uh, but I hope that you will join us in supporting this agenda. I hope you will join us as we prepare to, uh, to move our county forward in a new direction. Uh, and I hope you all stay safe uh, and stay strong. We'll talk to you soon.